plum breeding. Well, first of all, the definition of the plum breeding. In fact, plum breeding is is a science because you have to know very have very good knowledge about genetic, and the other is an art. Why is an art? Because why? As soon as you start to experience with a crop, you have to think how it's going to be used in the market. Going to use it as, as a landscape or sort of container, basket, etc. And we're going to talk special talk about especially about the, a developmental cross, how to make some developmental cross, and how to make a test cross. Developmental cross is in order is made in order to develop an inbred line. Inbred line is that that is used in the green, production greenhouses as a female or as a male. And test cross is making crosses with the inbred lines made in this this process. For example, just to give you an idea, here I am thinking about having a product in the Guinea that is going to be a rose by color flower with a spreading habit like wave and dark foliage. So I had to think immediately about thinking about developing inbred lines with different traits that that once you combine them can give you this product. In our job it's very important to protect our hybrids. So for that we play with the inheritance of the different traits of the inbred lines. For example in New Guinea if I'm going to develop a dark green uh, foliage F1 I cross green but dark, but dark green because green is recessive. If I have to develop a very round overlapping flower, I cross it by agape flower, which are recessive, and cross it, give you overlapping. That is the, the, the special <coughs> job here. Once I make this cross, give you here, using one plant with the dominant traits, with the violet color, with the spreading habit, with the dark foliage, crossed by the ones which have the recessive trait, which is rolled by color, a bright habit and green foliage is gonna give us this. Product, the plant is gonna the product of the plant is gonna be violet, spreading habit and dark foliage. In other words, all the recessive color are gonna be hiding. Mm -hmm. Is this when I start to make this cross, I get a uh, generation number one, which is gonna give us just these traits. But once you take plants of this generation one and self pollinate Oh, some individual plants, you are going to get a lot of variation. It's the point that the breeder has, has to know what to take to develop the inbro lines. In all of this process, usually in four or five generations, you get the inbro lines. And each generation is, takes about one year. In other, in other words, to develop your inbro lines, you are going to need about five years. And once you take your implant lines, you have to initiate your test process to get some experimental hybrids with potential for the, ha for the market. Once you start to make your test process, you maybe uh, usually make in New Guinea a set of 400 or 500 crosses because I have to screen for productivity, for pollen, etc. Usually mm. 200 hybrids are good for that. When I have those two hybrids, I saw them here in Costa Rica in the field and greenhouse to see which of them are good for GL potential, germ, uh, seedling vigor, and uh, good earliness to flower, better uniformity for habit, branching, flower size, etc. When I make this sowing, usually 50 or 60 hybrids are good for that. When I get these 50 or 60 hybrids, I send to US, to Holland and Costa Rica an elite trial to be evaluated in flats, in a small container, greenhouse, field, etc., whatever. And once I get all the information all of these uh, sites, all, 
usually 15 hybrids perform very well in all the places because we have to be careful because we are not breeding just for Costa Rica or just for US. We have to select hybrids that perform very well in all over the parts. So these 15 hybrids with good performance in all of these places are sent to a mini PT for production, mini production trial. That is a mini pathologist. This is our <laughs> mini pathologist. So a mini PT is um, a trial where you use a sample of 10 plants of each inbred line. At that point, we make a reciprocal crosses and they find out what is good as the male, what is good as the male, and they develop a technical sheet to know how to handle that particular inbred line. Because sometimes you can have uh, 20 inbred lines, all of them are Nigini, but some of them need uh, more nitrogen, more iron, whatever, you know. That is what they find out in the mini PT. And also, they find, we find out what is a good meal, giving us a good CGL, a good GL potential, etc. And while we are doing this mini production trial, we send the marketing people is making trials in US and in other places to be sure that these are very good hybrids. And uh, from once we have the results, usually the half of those hybrids are good. So in this case, I put three hybrids. These hi six hybrids are sent to a commercial production trial. In this commercial trial, we use about sample of 200 plants, 100 plants of each inbound lines, but we know what is the direction of the cross. But in MPT, when we cross A by B and B by A, and we realize what is good as a female, what is good as a male, that is the direction we use here. And also, we make some seed sampling, sending seeds on some growers to get a good feedback of the, of the hybrids. And once we have the results here, usually two or three hybrids are going to the market. So as you can see from five or 400 hybrids that I start to do, uh, just two or three of them go to the market. And this takes us about 10 years. In fact, to develop the current device series we have, took me about 20 years. It's uh, one crop that the uh, genetic is too complicated. In fact, as far as I understand, nobody is trying to make something for seed. For seed. So, fortunately, we were able to do it. And this gives you an idea how long it takes to develop one variety in a crop like Nihini. For example, in Petunia, and Petunia is a little bit faster. Petunia could take us uh, six, seven years. Turinia, also six, seven years. In Colia, it's a little bit more faster, maybe four years. Mm -hmm. But usually in difficult crop is about an average of 10 years. Now I'm going to show you how we do all the labor in the, in the plants. <coughs> 